I gave it a fair shake. I haven't been this bad at something in a long time. So, I did buy a brand new St. Croix spinning rod. I'm excited to uh, try out. I've already blown through like the best hole in all of Wisconsin for brook trout. Um, I always catch fish here, so before I ruin this entire stream, I'm gonna put the old fly rod away and uh, I will be coming back to this. This is something I wanna do and get into, but um, I'm no good at it, that's for sure. All right, now I'm not playing any more games. I got this uh, brand new St. Croix spinning rod I've been excited to try out. This is something I actually know how to do, and I feel like I might actually catch some fish. So, definitely not giving up on fly fishing. I just am yeah, man enough to know that I have no idea what I'm doing, and I need some help. <laughs> so... There we go. There's a real nice brookie. Oh, he's coming out. He came off the hook. Oh, he's gone. That was a real nice fish. Nice nine, 10 inch brookie. Oh man, does that feel awesome to have a fish on the end of my line. Oops, bank shot. It's chilly out today. Oh. That was pretty cool, I watched him. Another nice brookie. Caught him right at my feet. Oh, I got a mess up my hands. Another really nice fish. Man, they're pretty. I just love these fish. Oh my gosh. That was a 15 inch brookie. That was legitimately a 15 inch brookie. It's a real nice brookie too. There we go. Heck yeah. Man. It's a nice, real nice brookie. Probably 10, 11 inches. We'll let him go. I just missed before that fish. 
I just missed what had to have been a 15, 16 inch rookie. The thing looked like a freaking football. All right, I am back in the truck. Man, fly fisherman, I've got to give it to you. You are better than I. That is a tough little dealio there. I'm really, really bad at it, but uh, I am going to keep practicing. I got to practice just casting in general, just in the yard and in the grass and stuff before I get back in the stream because it's just a whole lot of monking around and being in the water complicates everything. But after I put the fly rod away and busted out the uh, spinning rod, I did catch three nice brookies. Um, the two were probably around 9 inches, the um, third one is probably 11, 10, 11, 12 inches, somewhere in there, and then I missed one brook trout that was just huge. It had to have been a 15 inch brook trout and it just looked like a football. One of the, definitely actually the biggest brook trout I've ever seen in the water. Um, he struck right at my feet and I missed him. So that kind of sucks, but that last brook trout I actually got to hand was, uh, was a real nice fish. Um, Brick trout like that, man, they make my day. They're just such beautiful fish and a whole bunch of fun to catch. So that was fun. Felt really good to get back on the stream. I am going to head to the cabin now. This stream is only five minutes from my cabin. So I'm going to put out a turkey blind because my turkey tag um, season is coming up pretty quick here. And then on the way home, I got one more stream that I want to fish um, to try to get on some browns. This is actually the stream where Cameron caught that uh, giant brown two weeks ago or so. So, gonna head to the cabin real quick and then uh, hopefully get back on the stream on the way back home. Alrighty, I am at a new stream. This is a bigger stream and I'm targeting some bigger brown trout here. I am just uh, using the normal spinning reel now and uh, two weeks ago I came here with my buddy Cam and he caught a dandy brown trout. I missed a big one and then I caught a smaller one, but I'm gonna be targeting bigger fish here so I got Bigger spinners and a bigger rod. I'm gonna fish this little hole for a bit. I've never had success at this hole, but uh, I'm excited to run up to that one hole that I missed that big one and Cam caught it. Little brown. Whoop. He's gone. It's a little guy. So that big rock in the middle up there is where we caught that big boy last time. This is a really big chunk of river, so I want to make sure I really uh, take my time and cover it pretty well. Oh, shit. No. Okay, this is crazy. I just lost my lure up in that tree and it fell down. And now I see the line is going all over the place. I think there's a fish. I think there's a fish caught on my lure here that's hanging from this tree that fell down. I'm gonna set my pole down there and hope it doesn't fall into the stream. Yeah, there's a fish on there for sure, look it. Oh my gosh. Wow. Holy sh, oh my gosh, it's a
Oh my gosh. That was a 20 inch trout. My line, I lost my line up in that tree and it was snagged up in the tree. And when I bit it off, the weight of the line fell down in the water. So the lure was, it, it came down and it was just sitting there. And that giant fish ate it and this tree limb was like fighting it. And when I grabbed the line, there was just too much pressure. And he snapped off. I, sh oh, I can't believe that. That was a 20 inch fish. And I just blew this hole up trying to get to it just so I could get the lure out of him. God dang it. This is literally the exact same hole Cam caught his big one in last time. That fish looked even bigger. I don't even know what to say right now. Apparently, I am just incapable of catching those big fish. I don't know if my GoPro picked it up or not because when I checked a little bit later, I saw that my GoPro was accidentally on time warp mode. So I'm praying that I got the footage from this because it was literally the craziest thing. I got up to the exact same hole that Cam caught his big brown trout out of two weeks ago. And I got kind of a snag up in my reel. So I wanted to cast a really far cast to try to straighten my line out. I wasn't paying attention and I sent it over a tree limb and it kind of got stuck up in the tree limb. So I tried getting it out and I couldn't get it. Um, so I bit it off and when I bit it off, I don't know how, but the weight of the lure dropped down and the lure dropped down into the water kind of in the hole and the rest of the line was up tangled in the tree. So I had just gotten to that hole and I didn't want to go blow it up by getting my lure so I tied a new one on and I was going to grab my lure once I had finished fishing that hole. All of a sudden I'm fishing and that line and the tree limb just start going bonkers. And it was kind of a rigmarole there for a minute but I got to the line and I grabbed it and <laughs> the fish that was on the other end I can't even, it, it made cams look small. I mean it was the, the biggest, it looked like a brown trout you'd catch out of Lake Michigan. It was, I don't even want to say how long I think I thought it was but it was probably like six inches tall. It was just a giant, the, the biggest fish I've ever seen, the biggest inland fish I've ever seen. I could see the spots and everything. I know it was a brown trout, but I mean, it looked like a muskie. It was so just thick and girthy, but, oh, that, so that was kind of crazy. Other than that though, I didn't have much luck other than those two or three real small browns. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what a, I'm so glad to be back on the stream and I'm thankful for the fish I did catch, just especially those brookies. I mean, they were just beautiful, but I saw my biggest brook trout I've ever seen in my life today and the biggest brown trout I've ever seen in my life today and I didn't catch either of them, so. Yeah, I mean, the thing that really bugs me is that big fish. I mean, it bit the lure that I was casting in the hole that I was fishing, but because I was an idiot and lost my lure up in the tree, that's the reason I didn't at least get a chance to fight that fish with a pole, so. Man, that was a tough one, but uh, what a fun day. Just happy to be back doing stuff like this. Thank you guys all for watching along. Um, I will be practicing fly fishing, my casting in the yard, and um, I will be back. I, I want to I wanna get that down, but it needs a lot of work. So until then, I'm with a little bit of time I do get to get away and go fishing, I'm probably going to use a spinning rod until I really feel comfortable with that. If any of you fly fishermen are watching and feel like you want to teach this uh this newbie here uh definitely give me a shout i'd love to go with someone that actually knows what they're doing and could give me some pointers so until the next video thank you guys so much for watching make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video